someone in the crowd could be the one to let you know that someone who could lift you off the ground. Someone in the crowd will take you where you want to go. Someone in the crowd will make you. Someone in the crowd will take you flying off the ground. Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. I hope everyone is doing well. Well, I'm going to be reviewing La La Land, written and directed by Damien Chazelle. La La Land does star Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. This is written and directed by Damien Chazelle that wrote and directed Whiplash. An incredible film. It is a near perfect movie in my opinion. So La La Land tells the story of this actress played by Emma Stone and this jazz pianist played by Ryan Gosling. These two are struggling in their lives to get somewhere so when the two of them meet each other they decide to help each other become successful. La La Land is a film that if you guys have been following me for quite a while you know that this is my most anticipated movie for the rest of 2016. So now that I have finally seen La La Land, Yeah, this movie is pretty damn awesome. La La Land is a visual, beautiful, satisfying tree of a movie and something you guys should know is that I know a lot of people these days are not exactly a fan of the musical genre. I love the musical genre so knowing that this was a musical coming into this film is what actually had me excited even more. The musical numbers in La La Land are spectacular. They're either catchy, they're either relaxing, even a little bit of both honestly. They're just so much fun. I mean the opening scene of La La Land already sets up the entire tone and how that whole entire opening scene was choreographed at this highway that was amazing and the other choreography for the other musical numbers I was blown away Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone what can I really say about these two this is their third film together they worked in crazy stupid love together which I loved I adored that film gangster squad eh. It, it was fine, but they were still good in that film nonetheless, and that chemistry that they had in Crazy Stupid Love and Gangster Squad carries on here in La La Land, definitely. Their performances were so believable. You really do care about these characters. You want these characters to succeed in life, especially with Emma Stone, because you could tell that she is really, really struggling, and you just want to see her succeed. And huge credit to Emma Stone, because she sounded so lovely in this film, like she he actually has a really really beautiful singing voice and Ryan Gosling although he doesn't sing as much as Emma Stone does he was really good for what he had and I was also very impressed by how good Ryan Gosling was at the piano I have heard that he actually had to learn to play the piano for this film and I have to say very, very impressed. I thought this movie had a very great message about just following your dreams and never giving up. You'll achieve somewhere in life if you just keep believing. And I thought that message carried on very well. This is a very well-written movie by Damien Chazelle. He knows how to write dialogue and he knows how to make you sympathize with the characters and his direction as well. My goodness, can Damien Chazelle direct because this movie has some of the best directors direction I've seen this year. This is just such a very well directed film with so many wonderful shots to really have you sucked into this atmosphere. The cinematography is also some of the best I've seen this year. This is such a good looking movie with so many great color palettes and i also have to say that the film really does feel very old school like this has that old school kind of filmmaking that you would see well in the old school days of movies i actually felt like i was watching a classic old school movie and i always appreciate that because those are personally my kind of movies this movie really is an achievement when it comes to the filmmaking on a technical level from the costume designs to the choreography to the framing to the color palettes 
everything on his sleeve. Everything on a technical level is Oscar worthy. And while I do love so many musical numbers in La La Land, I have to say by far that Someone in the Crowd is my favorite song. I am listening to that song over and over again. I also love City of Stars. I also love all the other musical numbers that are in this film. Audition by Emma Stone. That was incredible. There's so many great musical numbers, but if I had to pick just my one favorite, it is by far Someone in the Crowd. There were actually times where I was just smiling in the theater and you know I just felt so relaxed because some moments in this film were just so soothing you don't really have dialogue that would happen in certain moments it's just music playing where you just see Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling and it's just so calm and I just can't help but be so relaxed now while La La Land had me absolutely satisfied I am not gonna lie to you guys, I did have some problems with La La Land. Now, don't take that as a bad thing, you guys. I still really enjoyed this movie, but yes, there are some problems that I just personally had. By the second half of the movie, the pacing did start to drag, to be honest, because I thought in the first half, I was always sucked in the film. I never had pacing problems. The film kept going, going, and going. But then the film just takes a pretty big break from having a musical number, actually. Like, by the second half of the film, there really weren't that many musical numbers. To put it best, the first half of La La Land felt like a full-on musical film, but then by the time it hit the second half, it felt more like a music film than it felt a musical film if that makes sense. And I wish that there were more musical numbers in the second half because with the amount of musical numbers in the first half, I was having so much fun. And so because of that, I think the first half is a little more stronger than the second half, to be honest, because I did start to really feel the pacing. I wasn't like bored or anything, but I did start to feel the pacing just drag a little bit. I do think it runs maybe 15 minutes too long, to be honest, and that is because this is a two hour film and I don't think it really needed to be a two hour film. Also, when it comes to the other characters, they just felt like background characters. They didn't really do anything. Like they're just there to be background characters for like Emma Stone or Ryan Gosling and that's about it there was really no development to them and they just kind of come and go like you'll see Emma Stone's friends and then you never really see him again and then you know you'll have John Legend and all the other guys I would have liked to learn more about these characters because I will say Emma Stone's friends for what I saw of them I like these characters I just kind of wish that maybe we could learn a little more about these characters. I get that the movie just wanted to focus on Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, and you didn't have to like explore them into deep details, but I would like to learn at least just a little bit about these background characters. And I will say that I was very 50-50 with the ending of this movie, uh, because there is a certain something they do with the ending, I was totally on board. I was just loving the ending. And then there is a certain something else that happens. And by the time this film ended, I felt pretty hollow. I really did have to debate hard and how I felt with La La Land leaving the theater because of this ending specifically. I felt like if Damien Chazelle took this ending at another direction, I do think the ending could have been just as satisfying as the rest of La La Land, especially with where the storyline was taking it. I just didn't feel really that satisfied. When you look at the end of Whiplash, that movie made you go, yes, that was satisfying. That was, whew, La La Land. Unfortunately, it's not like that for me. And I have to say, of all the problems I did have with La La Land, that is probably my biggest problem. Although, yes, I know this film is getting praised. I am very well aware of that. But despite the issues I did have with La La Land, I think this is actually a very satisfying musical film. It delivered 
what I wanted from a musical film. Great musical numbers. It had a really good storyline to it. I thought the cinematography direction were honestly just so splendid. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone were fantastic here. I still cared about the journey that Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone take, even if the payoff isn't exactly the most satisfying in my opinion. But La La Land is a film that I am very pleased with, to be honest. It's not a film um, head over here in love with like a lot of people are I'm just being honest with you guys but does that mean I was disappointed with La La Land no because you know why although I may not love this film like everyone else I still enjoyed it and as long as you enjoyed a movie that's all that matters. Apparently, there's something wrong with liking a movie, and it's not. There's nothing wrong with me just liking a movie. I liked La La Land. I was not disappointed. I am going to give La La Land a very satisfying and solid three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about La La Land. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.